for you. Yeah. Are you bring in your bike? Yeah. <laughs> Chad, you keep breaking the fourth wall. Do you understand what the fourth wall is? You can't, you can't. You don't look directly at the camera when I'm trying to get just like... <laughs> Start over. Okay, start over. Here you go. Here you go, no breaking the fourth wall, I can't. I'm zipping down my... Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for dropping in for another ride video, ride vlog. This was an amazing ride here in the dead of winter, Arizona. This is Saguaro Lake. Um, we dropped into the lake. You saw that really amazing descent that makes you feel like you're not in Arizona. Um, it's a really nice loop, especially when you have a group to do it with. It's, it's pretty safe. The roads aren't too bad. Um, and now we are, we've made the turn and, uh, if you're in the area or you're riding the area and you, you get, um, out this way, this is what, uh, on Strava, uh, and this is a category three, might be a cat three climb, uh, usury. There's a bunch of different segments. Obviously you know how Strava works. It breaks it down to like, you know, four or five different usury segments, but this is the climb usury pass. This is climbing out of the lake um, after that long descent. We make the turn and we head back into civilization. And this was just a, this was just a friendly climb here. Uh, we keep it pretty tempo. Uh, I wanted to bring it right up to my threshold, which is, which is not the greatest right now. It's starting to come around. We are uh, mid-November this was probably two weeks ago or so so uh, a little more fitness than I had um, for this ride I have now but um, trying to keep it right at threshold 
a little above tempo, mainly tempo pace for those of you that uh, kind of understand power meters and stuff like that. Um, I think my FTP right now is probably sitting somewhere like 320-ish, um, 330, not, not great, uh, but uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. Plenty of time left for crit season. And this kind of a ride is really a tempo ride. It's not meant to um, find that find that uh, really, really deep zone, that zone 11. Uh, just sit in tempo. And uh, you see here, it's full group still together. Um, you know, when you're on a group, this is a group, this is like a gentleman's ride. This is not a drop ride. Um, so there's no real like aggressive attacks, but some guys don't want to ride as hard. So um, they'll just, uh, you know, pull out of the pull out of the rotation, pull out of the lineup, and just fade back, ride their own pace. You know, they might just want to be chill, uh, tranquilo, as uh, Steve here uh, said. Hey, I'm just being tranquilo um, today. So uh, it was an amazing ride. Uh, the weather out here, guys, in the winter. If you can, if you're back east right now and you're watching this and you're you're in the snow and the sleet, if you can plan a vacation. Uh, plan your two-week vacation in or in and around November, December, January. Come out to Arizona. Literally, it's sunny like this all year long. If you can ride during the day if you're on vacation, I mean, you can ride. The highs are like, I mean, the lowest our, our highs get. Um, you see Steve here pulling out of the lineup a little bit here. The lowest our highs get, I think they're like high 50s. That's the coldest the absolute coldest and that's pretty rare i think it pretty much always gets a high of 60 you know which as you guys know that's just like put a little warm little vest on uh, miles just took a pretty good pull there and robert's gonna come through miles said uh miles said he wasn't out here to practice climbing um, the group's still together but robert takes a pull then i take a pull and then everybody kind of does their own thing. Um, but yeah, highs in the 60s, you put a little vest on, you can ride all day. You know, if you wanted to keep some fitness through the winter, you know, just plan a vacation around Arizona. Come on out, Phoenix, Scottsdale. Uh, obviously, Tucson's a great place to train. I'm originally from Tucson, um, you know, with Mount Lemon down there and a bunch of other places. Uh, down there to, to, to train year round. So I'm sure you've heard of people doing it, but if you can, man, come out for, come out for this winter. It's amazing. Cause this is the dead of winter here. And you know, I was wearing just a, a bibs and a, a Jersey. So Robert on the front jet set team jet set rider. He rides out here all the time. He's out in Mesa. This is essentially like East kind of Southeast of Mesa. Um, this is his stomping ground. He was out here, met us like mid ride hooked up. And then he jumps off like after this climb cause he's out here. So, uh, yeah, Robert knows his climb. Well, jet set always does very well. Um, this is part of the tour de Mesa, uh, tour of Mesa route, which is kind of a, a Fondo kind of not supposed to be a race, but it ends up being a race type thing. I'm sure you guys know what that's about. Um, and Jet Set uh, always has a good showing out here. They got some very strong riders and they work well together. And Robert actually is the guy that I followed up Mount Lemon. I did one Mount Lemon ride, I didn't record it, but um, Robert, I worked with him as long as I could. Then he pulled for a long, long way up Mount Lemon. And then uh, he pulled over, he wasn't trying, um, he's done Mount Lemon before, I hadn't. So he kind of stopped for some, grabbed some nutrition like halfway up and take a little break kind of thing. And I was like, well, I want to keep pedaling. I want to see what kind of time I can get. So, um, I ended up getting up there before I'm getting to the top before him, but, uh, man, it wasn't, it wasn't because I'm stronger than this guy. He's whew, strong, big guy too. Not, not a little bloke here. Um, yeah. And he can climb man. he can stay out of saddle for a really long period of time. Very quiet when he's out of saddle, not a lot of, uh, motion out of uh out of the bike and the hips and you see the saddle not moving too much just a nice steady doesn't fluctuate cadence just finds a nice rhythm out of saddle really well and he's on the new roubaix 
uh, with the Future Shock there. Roubaix Disc, I believe a pro level bike. And uh, he loves it, absolutely loves it. So we're rolling here tempo, I'm sitting at like 300, Robert's taking like the longest pull ever, and I'm like, well, I kinda wanna pull, but he's, you know, I'm still sitting at 300, so to pull, I'm gonna have to come around him at 400, and that's kinda what I decided to do here. I'm like, okay, fine. You know, he's been on the front too long, I don't want him to think I don't wanna help. Um, so I have to come around him at pretty high wattage. I didn't mean to spike it like that, but I think right here is where, you know, I don't have a rear face, but there's probably still like three people, uh, on back there um, and right here after Robert's long pull I take this pretty good one this is above threshold this is like a threshold pull here um, some guys let off they don't want to go that hard um, so they let off and then it just becomes Robert and I heading to the top this is about a I mean like the average is like 15 minutes um, fast guys I think um, and who's that UHC pro some UHC Pro has the KOM at like 10 minutes and some change, and I think I've been doing it like at 13, or is it 12? I don't remember. Link to Strava, guys, if you wanna check this route out. So Whirl Lake, this is from two weeks ago, but you can back up, you can see a couple Swirl Lake efforts. Link to my Strava's in the description. Uh, make sure to check it out. You can see my power numbers for the whole ride. This was a 70 mile, I think it's like 68 mile loop that, um. We kept a pretty good tempo <clears throat> this day. I want to say my normalized power for the three and a half or four hours was 248 normalized power. So my legs were, this was a good effort for me. I usually don't ride this long, as you guys know. My, my rides are pretty short, but go check out the Strava. You'll see this segment here, usury, and you'll see it's pretty consistent. Oddly enough, I think my I did two exact times, one today, and then the weekend before, I did the exact same time with two other guys. So, um, yeah, pretty odd how I hit the, hit the mark twice. But, yeah, fitness is starting to come around. Excited for crit season. Um, excited for things coming on the team. A lot of new teammates, guys. Lots of new teammates. Still going to ride for Bicycle House. Um, but we've, we've acquired some talent, as it were. So um, excited for the new season, uh, new kits on the way, um, new sponsors, all kinds of things happening. So stay tuned for that. Crit racing is going to get uh, it's going to get epic this year. Lots of uh, lots of uh, changes, we'll say. Lots of changes coming. We go just plugging away here. This climb. It's a nice climb because you see it kind of has a little, like it has some false flats. Like right here, you think it's kind of like level with a little false and then it kicks up and kicks down, but it never levels out and it never like, it never decreases the gradient. Like it never goes below zero. So it's just like this steady three, four, three, four, three, four, five, two, five, you know, like it goes back and forth, back and forth. Robert here gets on the throttle a little bit. He's just strong, man. I was just holding on the best I could here. Passing some riders. Lots of riders out, too. That's another thing. If you come out here in the winter, there are so many cyclists out that um, I kind of feel like car awareness is better because of the amount of people out. You know, they're just it's becoming like indoctrined to like see the, you know, the cyclists just kind of know they give us room. You know, like you see me playing out here in, in oncoming traffic. I look back, just the heads up, every time I do something like that, I always glance over my shoulder, make sure to keep checking that shoulder. You know, look over, no cars, okay, I'm gonna come around Robert here, take my pull and the rotation. Um, now, I don't condone this kind of stuff here, if you can avoid it. You don't need to just sit in the, uh, in the lane. But again, it was clear. Went around these guys, got back in the bike lane. Um, we're coming to the end here. Like I said, we keep it pretty, pretty gentleman-like up this. We were both trying to just, uh, you know, honestly, I don't think Robert was even working hard. I was at threshold pretty much this whole climb, um, right at threshold tempo, like flirting, um, flirting with just Owie. <laughs> uh, probably had a little more in the tank. But we're getting to the end here, and 
yeah guys thanks for, uh thanks for watching i'm gonna try to slowly wrap this up there's still another two minutes of video but my videos i've always come to the end and then like quickly try to get everything out so thank you guys for watching these videos um if you want more if you like the way this was cut uh let me know in the comments below make sure to like subscribe all that stuff um super excited to keep bringing videos i'm gonna keep this kind of like format where it's just uh i'm gonna try two a week at least one a week and i'm gonna try to keep that coming for you guys um so yeah please subscribe please subscribe it means a lot uh next video i have will be possibly from chad's camera so i got chad uh, hooked up with one of my GoPros and he's riding and he's always kind of around me so I might have a perspective uh, of another rider looking at me and I want to do my power on his camera so you guys can watch me ride with my power and stuff like that and give you guys a different perspective on it so um, that's in the works I'm gonna do more how-to videos and stuff like that um, kind of more tutorials I like doing that stuff I like doing those I like helping new people and, and trying to put some information out there so Here's just a group that was just chilling, waiting for their other riders. I think this was Two Wheel Jones's ride, uh, regular Sunday loop out here. So anyway, guys, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching us ride Swirl Lake. We finished this up. Make sure to check the Strava down below. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.